I sat down with the authors of the series and I asked them if there was something that we could use, a piece of art, a piece of writing, anything, as a starting point for our quest, our journey into the family. And they took me to a painting that is considered a masterpiece by some. And others, well, let's just say it's an acquired taste. The painting is done by French artist Paul Gauguin, and it was the title that intrigued them the most. Paul Gauguin was, by his own estimation, the brightest, most intelligent man, insightful, that ever lived, that ever took a human breath. But he didn't like his quiet, kind of domestic life. He wanted to be a painter. He became a painter. And finally, he just completely rejected and left his family and took off to the islands to find kind of a pure life. Just considering this uh, well-known picture by Paul Gauguin, d'où venons-nous, que sommes-nous, où allons-nous? You know, where do we come from? What are we? Where are we going? It's a, a summary of what, what he had found in, in Tahiti, where he'd gone a, a, as a, a kind of self-imposed exile from the over-civilized world of Paris in search of the, the pure, the natural human being in, in an attempt to unite himself with that natural, the forces of nature which he thought would be flowing through these, uh, uh, these beautiful creatures. He didn't find love, and he didn't find the meaning of life, nor did he come to belong. All these attempts to flee from what you are to another world end up as failures. What we know is that as a boy, he was taught by priests these catechetical questions. Where do we come from? We are made in the image of God. What are we? Yes, indeed. We are bearers of that likeness. And you can see in that painting his loss of faith in that original Christian answer because he has people being born, that questioning figure in the middle, looking up, wondering, asking, but then that idol, not the image of Jesus. What is interesting is that there is an idol in this painting standing in the background but all the figures are turned away from that idol. It's as though it has produced nothing. And it's as if the painting communicates that for these big questions, these yearning questions that every human asks, there are no answers to them. Kind of an existentialism in art. Um, but the thing is, is there are answers to these questions. Where do we come from? Who are we? Where are we going? Christianity profoundly and beautifully and deeply answers those questions for the seeking human being.